Hello, I'll be showing today how to open up this TomTom. -tom. It's uh, working great, but I was looking for an SD card slot and I can't find it, so I decided to open it up. And uh, it's not that easy. So I'll be showing you how to open it. So it's a TomTom -tom XL Canada 310. I don't know. So first of all, there's something hidden under this sticker. So I'll be taking it away. Okay. Need to pry this open. Okay. And uh, you have two more, one here and one here to pry open. It's a straight screwdriver, this. See? And the other side. It's pretty hard to open it, but it's here, so I just did it, see? Now you have to push it to the top. I think I have something else here. Just push it or down down just pull it down not push it up has some connectors okay now that this is away we have four screws, Phillips screws And uh, all it's left is this metal frame that you need to pry open. It's got rubber underneath it, so you don't need to worry too much. This is rubber, it's a rubber frame. Okay. Now just lift the LCD. And 
and this is about as far as I go because I was looking for the SD card and I SD card slot so I don't have one on this GPS so that's it just the battery and the motherboard and this flex connected to the LCD with the digitizer okay closing it up now it's my surprise but I was really expecting an SD card slot I found some big maps for this uh, this device and the internal memory is not enough so I was really hoping for an SD slot I'm just fitting the frame metal frame on the plastic frame and pushing it down <coughs> don't forget the screws This is a TomTom XL One XL, and uh, I think it's version nine because that's what my USB driver USB when I connect it to the computer. That's what the USB driver is installing. The version the version nine of this TomTom. Anyway, and like you see, it's, it's a slide mechanism, but it doesn't quite listen to me. I'm pushing it up now to the top here and pushing it down here and here. back the sticker now Okay. And that's about it. I hope this helped you change the battery or fix the motherboard or something. It didn't help me finding the SD slot. So, thanks.